Hi ladies and gents, I'm back with you today just to share something quick with you. I finished the tag last night. Um, it was drying so I couldn't finish, I couldn't record it last night because it was still drying. So here's my latest tag um, that I completed. Um, I just used a big tag that I got in the mail as in one of the racks um, I got. Um, then I used my swirl um, embossing folder and then just did this part of it and then I added the weathered wood distress ink and I like it because it looks a little it looks blue so I used that um, and rubbed that over it and then I rubbed the edges then I added some stickles on the swirls and then I played with images um, it took me a while but uh, I used some leftover Prima lace that was given to me by Art of Marie. Then I used, then I played with the pictures. So I wasn't sure what I wanted, but I knew I wanted wings. I wanted the little girl. It took me a while to decide which girl picture I wanted because I had so many printed out. Um, and I got this, I believe, at graphicsfairy.blogspot.com or magicmoonlightfreeimages.blogspot.com. Um, and then I got the Hello Kitty wings, and then I they were, I used some chipboard and I painted them white. Um, and then I used um, some uh, the acrylic glitter paint and made the wings like really shiny. You can't really tell. Let me. Yeah, you can't really tell, but they're super shiny. Um, and then it's the I use the glitter paint on the fla the flower the prima flowers here the bird the prima bird. Um, this was in the embellishment pack. Then I used these butterflies that I printed off the website as well a long time ago. And I double I double layered it, popped these up, and also used the glitter acrylic paint on it to make it shiny. Um, so that's my tag. Then I just took some blue fibers and cream fibers and added that and I backed it on chipboard. And I mainly wanted to show do a video because I learned how to make flowers. Um, this was a flower but this petal was too small and it looked super weird. So I just decided to fold it inward, cover the center, and made a butterfly out of it so that's my little butterfly then um, I did this one and it's a flower at the button and the website I got it from uh, I learned how to do these is um, netpets.blogspot.com and she has videos um, her YouTube name is shop Etsy um, so here's my other flower with the button. Then I did another flower without a button. And I did one more and it's on another project that I just finished today. Which only took me about an at least an hour on and off because I had to keep stopping. Um, so here's another one. Then I also learned... Oh, I did this one this morning. Like, I did the blue ones last night, and I did this last night as well. And this is off of a different yarn. This one's like, um, because the blue one I did off this one, and this one is more of a, like, twisty yarn. And I did this one, which is really cute. And then she also has a crochet leafy garland tutorial, which is kind of cool. It's the same stitch you would do for the petals for the flower. And that's what I did. I just changed the measurements and everything. So I did that. And then this is my finished project that I completed. Um, she has this cute tutorial on her website as well. It is called um, Tutorial Knit Your Own Pocket Monster, which I don't know how to knit. So I ended up just starting the crochet. And then I measured what this was mainly for. So here's the flower I did last night. 
And then this, I added a little connector, a connector loop right here to connect it. And then I've got my flower, it's still there, nice and pretty, and there's no glue whatsoever on this. And I just turned it inside out because I, I added the edges later because I just made one long strip like I would do my scarves and stuff. And then I just um, sewed with my, um, my really big needle, the big loops. I can't remember what it's called. But then I did that and just did the edges and then flipped it inside out. And then my iPhone case. So she, she said she can do an iPod cozy, a book buddy, a mug or cup cozy, a brooch or a bag. And the little monsters are so cute I wanted to try it. But the way the teeth are look really hard and I haven't really done many stitches. So I will eventually try that. But, so I've got little, my iPod case. So, there we go. And I may be doing several more of these for friends. So I haven't, I don't know yet. I mean, I have really tons and tons of yarn. But I have so many projects I need to get finished first before I start new ones. Um, that's what my goal is next year. So, I'll be making all kinds of new things. Um, crocheting. Um, more projects, more layouts, more tags. Um, I do have my 31 days, um, a little preview list. Um, so here's the case again, in my favorite color. Um, so here's my 31 days list, and I, this is what I'm thinking. I, I'm not sure yet for sure, but so far I started doing with the alphabet. So I've got like ATC, maybe an apple, something to do with an apple, a birdhouse, a bird, something blue, something beach, or buttons or butterflies, you know, so on. So I've got this list going on of ideas. So I don't know X, Y, Z, and then I have all these other ones. So I haven't decided yet, but it's just a, a preview list. So that's what I got so far, ladies. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. And have a good Christmas tomorrow. And it's in a couple hours for me. Um, it's about 524 for me on um, Eastern Standard Time. So thanks for watching, ladies. Bye.